Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about apple cider vinegar. What is it? Why does it have such a broad benefit on health? And what kind of conditions can you utilize it for to benefit you? So let's get right into it. Apple cider vinegar, obviously made from apples, primarily the sugar of the apple is fermented into alcohol and then into vinegar, which is primarily acetic acid. Acetic acid has a pH of approximately two to three, okay? Vinegar is, is derived from uh, a French word called vin agre. I probably butchered the word, but that's what it's from. And apple cider vinegar also has something called a mother in it, which is yeast, beneficial bacteria like probiotics, and AAB or acidic acid bacteria. So when you look at a bottle of um, apple cider vinegar, to, to tell if it has the mother in it, you look at the bottom and it's like kind of floating in there, it's cloudy, right? And you shake it up and you see the things floating in there. That is the mother of the apple cider vinegar. The pH of the stomach is approximately one to two. Now, acetic acid is two to three very close to the pH of the stomach. The acidity is very important for the digestive process. So the proper pH in the stomach is necessary to activate the digestive enzymes of the stomach. It also helps to close down the sphincter or the valve from acid to, from regurgitating up into the esophagus. So the pH is very important for overall health and the digestive process. Now, there's a popular, popular brand called Bragg's. You can get the raw, unfiltered with the mother, the organic version. And the Bragg's uh, pH is approximately 3.5, which is enough to activate these enzymes. So you can utilize Bragg's. Uh, you can use like 15 mLs twice a day, okay, um, before your meals in order to activate those enzymes for proper digestion. So, when we look at it, apple cider vinegar benefits can be antimicrobial, right? It's shown to inhibit E. coli, S. aureus, or C. albicans, or candida albicans. So it's antimicrobial, it kills the bacteria in the GI tract before it even hits the small intestine. Antioxidant, it has got polyphenols because uh, high levels of polyphenol has that strong antioxidant effect. Also has a cardiovascular impact because of the antioxidant effect. It's shown to also decrease cholesterol, right? It also manages blood sugar. Studies have shown 15 ml twice a day before meals, or you can mix it into some water or, um, to dilute it a little bit, but it's also shown to decrease blood sugar, right, in diabetics. Weight management, they have a small study, uh, about 39 individuals, they split in two. They put them in a calorie restrictive diet uh, for 12 weeks. And the one group received apple cider vinegar twice a day, okay? And the other group did not. When you took the 12 weeks, apple cider vinegar group actually lost 8.8 .8 pounds versus the no apple cider vinegar and they lost five pounds. So it actually has a improvement in the metabolic rate. Likely it's because your digestive process is so good when you have the uh, acid in your stomach. Now, it's a multi-million, multi-billion dollar industry when they um, prescribe antacids, right? So whenever someone has reflux signs or GI issues, they give you antacids. Now, most people who have those signs actually have low stomach acid, not high stomach acid. So it's counterintuitive. If you have low stomach acid, you don't wanna take a medication that lowers your stomach acid even further, right? So a good test is this. Do you take uh, like a full tablespoon of apple cider vinegar? If you take it and you eat your meal, you feel pretty good, that's great. If you take apple cider vinegar, and it causes burning, right? As soon as you take it, it's burning your stomach. 
you may actually have maybe a H. pylori infection or Helicobacter uh, pylori infection, or you may have a gastric ulcer. So if you take apple cider vinegar and it causes burning and it's uncomfortable, you might want to get an endoscopy to see or confirm if you have an ulcer. Or you can also do some nutrients like deglyceride licorice, L-glutamine, and mastic gum prior to doing regimens of apple cider vinegar. So you can do this type of regimen for a month, and then you can try apple cider vinegar again to see if it causes any burning in your GI tract or your upper GI tract. So it's very important to understand why you would take apple cider vinegar. The most important part really is the, uh, the balance of the pH of the stomach, along with some uh, antioxidant effects which helps reduce weight uh, or control blood sugar and so forth. So it's very important to understand that it's not just about taking an antacid that's important for GI function. It's actually improving the proper pH in your stomach for the proper health, okay? My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.